हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू इकोनॉमिक्स क्लासेज बाई विशन अर्पिता सो इन दिस लेक्चर सीरीज ऑफ माइक्रो इकोनॉमिक्स वील बी स्टडिंग डेरीवेशन ऑफ आई एस का वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिराइव द इक्वेजन वेयर इन विल बी स्टडिंग थ्री पार्ट्स डेरीवेशन ऑफ आई एस कव शिफ्ट ऑफ आई एस कव एंड स्लोप ऑफ आई एस कव सो इन डेरीवेशन ऑफ आई एस कव डेरीवेशन ऑफ आई एस कव हैपन मेनली ड्यू टू चेंज इन इंटरेस्ट रेट so if interest rate falls from i1 to i2 so ad curve would shift upward that would happen because investment would increase and why would investment increase because the cost of borrowing has reduced that is interest rate has reduced so when interest rate reduces investment would increase when investment increases since investment is a component of aggregate demand aggregate demand would increase so when aggregate demand increases output or income would both increase so that's the phenomena behind the derivation of i s curve so when interest rate falls we'll see an upward shift in ad curve because of increase in investment since the cost of borrowing is reduced so we'll see that output would increase so we'll be deriving is curve from the above ad curve when there will be a shift in investment due to which ad shifts upward we'll see a negative relation that exists between interest rate and output so is curve basically represent different combination of income and interest rate where goods market is in equilibrium so on this line goods market is always in equilibrium and to the right of it when output is more than ad stock has to be reduced since there is excess supply of goods so as to reach an equilibrium situation and to the left of is curve there is excess demand of goods so that means in this situation output has to be increased so that equilibrium can be attained so at any given interest rate such as i1 y1 is the equilibrium income when interest rate reduces that means investment would increase that would lead to shift in ad curve and at a lower interest rate there will be a higher level of income that i have already told you to the right to the right of is curve y is greater than ad and to the left there is excess demand for goods that means y is less than ad so in order to achieve equilibrium in goods market if the economy is towards the y is greater than ad situation stock has to be reduced and if it's at the lower to the left side of is curve stock has to be increased so that equilibrium can be attained so this is this was all about the derivation of is curve in the next lecture series we'll be studying the shift of is curve Thanks for watching please do like share and subscribe to Economics by Avishan Arvita till then bye bye